After over a year of waiting for justice in the death of the 26-year-old Tolokwiat woman Chantel Moore, prosecutors announced today that the new Brunswick police officer who fatally shot Moore four times during a wellness check will not be facing any charges. It's just so wrong. You know, police can go around shooting somebody four times and it's okay. Today there was no justice for Chantel. The prosecutor's report says Moore's ex-boyfriend called Edmonston police after receiving concerning messages. The officer sent to check on her said she came out of the apartment wordlessly holding a knife in her left hand, cornering him on the apartment's third floor balcony. The officer, a use of force instructor with the Edmonston police for two years, then fired four shots. He's a large man. She's a small woman. Like, how couldn't he, why couldn't he disarm her? He did have some kind of a baton, so couldn't he use that to knock the knife out of her hand? Like, you know, there should have been no competition, you know, for her size against him. The officer was equipped with pepper spray and a baton, but didn't use them. The one taser in their police force, not with him that night. I think there needs to be clarity on it. I think there has to be further training so that, you know, police officer learns how to shoot just to disarm somebody that might be carrying a knife, for instance. Ultimately, the report found that the officer used reasonable force to defend himself. Prosecutors say there is no reasonable prospect of a conviction based on the evidence, but Moore's Island community will continue to advocate for change. As you know, there's been three police shootings in New Chalmers in the past um, less than a year. And therefore, you know, we just have to make changes in the policing system. A coroner's inquest into Chantel Moore's death is set for December 6th.